This video is a demonstration of Love to D debugging support in the Zero Brain development environment for Lua. This is how it works. Let's say you have a Love to D script you want to debug. In this case, in this case, I have a simple box shooting boxes game I found online, and it only has six functions. Zero Brain Studio ID includes support for Love to D, which you need to enable by selecting Love to D from the list of interpreters. This will now not only allow you to run in debug Love2D scripts, but will also enable out a completion for Love2D API. To make your script work with Zero Brain Studio Debugger, you need to add this line to it. You can now run your Love2D script right from the IDE and play this highly addictive game that I have here. I'm clearly winning. To debug your script, you can select Start Debugging from the menu, which will launch the application. And as you can see, it's suspended right where uh, at the line that we added. From this point, you can step through the code. You can look at stack and variable information. You can switch to the console and update your variables. Let's change with from 30 to 40. And as you can see, it's actually updated here. And you can also set breakpoints. Let's say I want to break where there is a collision between the bullets I'm shooting and the enemy. Let's continue the application. And let's shoot a few times. As soon as collision is detected, the application is suspended. And from this point, I can continue executing it step by step. I can set another breakpoint and continue to that breakpoint. And as you can see, uh, we've registered shot number one. That is in collision with enemy number three. When you're done debugging, you can simply stop the application. One last thing, I'll quickly demo the autocomplete of love to d When you type love, you'll get a list of methods and you can actually continue selecting this. Let's say we have get a presentation you can actually see uh, all the parameters and return values and uh, short description for for the methods. So go to Zero Brain Studio download page and give it a try. Fork the project on GitHub and see what else you can do with it. Thank you.